Okay, dashboards in Libre NMS. Now, if you Google NMS dashboard, you're going to come with a bunch of pictures here of uh, all sorts of cool dashboards. And, and Libre NMS is no different. Here's actually the, a Libre NMS dashboard right here where we can combine all these uh, graphs and stats and make it kind of look a little pretty for uh, maybe someone who's less technical or maybe you just want to see a bunch of different stats on one page without having to go around and here's a CPU. Okay, my apps, my MySQL connections is over here. Uh, you just want to kind of see all these on one page. And, and that's what dashboards allow us to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go create a dashboard um, and you manage all your dashboards from overview and dashboard. Uh, we'll go to the default here. We're going to create, you know, by default when you first install LibreMS it just comes with this placeholder and that's really it. But we're going to create a new dashboard called LibreNMS server. Uh, okay, we're going to add that and then we need to edit this dashboard right here and then we can select different uh, widgets or things to put on this dashboard. Uh, most of the time you're probably just going to be dealing with graphs because that's usually what we want to look at. So let's just say Libri NMS CPU here. Uh, processor. Device processor. Uh, we're going to do, let's just do one hour. You could select different time frames that show on the graph, but we need to select our local host here because we want to see the CPU on our local host. We don't really care about the CPU on our switch in this case or any other device. We just want to see the local host. Uh, and I usually put uh, one hour here, so you kind of know without having to go back in here what the d time range is. You, you could always look at the bottom here, but uh, that I usually just put that in there for helpful notes. So let's just add another one here. Uh, well, let's say we want to look at the RRD events. Uh, so we're going to do uh, applications. And we need to scroll here. Here's all our applications uh, we enabled. I probably could have searched for RRD, we're doing a little bit faster. Here we go, RRD cache D events uh, application. And this is only going to list the applications that have RRD, or the on, only devices that have RRD cache D running on them. So we can just say one hour here and select that. Okay, I'm going to delete this little placeholder here because we don't really need that anymore. Uh, okay, these get a little, let's get a little funky sometimes and you're moving them around as you can see uh, uh, there okay uh, let me update this so I don't lose anything I did let's add another graph here let's just say MySQL connections Okay, and as you can see, uh, really, the sky's the limit. We can add, really, any devices or anything we want in here. Let's uh, let's add a syslog table, too. You know what? We're going to do a syslog. We're going to just filter on the local host here, because I only want to see syslog messages from the LibreNMS server, because this is kind of my LibreNMS server status dashboard. Uh, so we're going to hit save on there, and now you can kind of see that uh, I can kind of see what's going on with the messages in LibreNMS. So really the sky's the limit here. Uh, we can we can really do anything. Um, let's do, uh, what was the other one we added? We had RRD, MySQL, and Nginx. Let's do Nginx connections so we can view how our web server is performing on, on LibreNMS. Let's do the last hour. Here we go. You get the idea. Save. Okay. So we have update there. Um, you can actually hide this little edit button. Say you're all done dealing with dashboards. You can actually just go to dashboards here and uh, hide this. And we can select LibreNMS server, and there we go. Um, this is kind of a basic one, but you get the idea here. And, you know, this really becomes helpful when you're dealing with distributed polling because uh, on my production server here, I have, like, all my CPUs of all my pollers in here. So I can kind of correlate, you know, okay, this polar CPU is kind of running low, and this polar is kind of running high. So let me decrease the workers on this one and increase them on this one so I can kind of spread out the load a little bit better. Okay, one other thing I wanted to mention here is a lot of people always ask, uh, how can I get other information that's not in LibreNMS in these dashboards? Um, and you can do that by going to Notes here. You can add a Notes field, and you can always just uh, put any notes you want in here, but you can also put a little HTML in here. And all I'm going to do is uh, put a little uh, HTML that basically does a weather map. Um, it's just a it's just loading this URL here in this animate.png file and it's just going to display it in here so we can save on there and you can see that now we got a little map here 
Uh, we need to make this box a little bit better. You get the idea though. Um, so basically uh, we can just uh, put really, if as long as your web server is allowed to, you know, LibreMS is allowed to talk to this server, you can put really anything in here you want. Um, and it, there's really no limit. I'll, I'll post this little code in the comments or the description here. So if you need to use this, you can. Okay, I think that just about does it for dashboards. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanted to throw this out there in case you're new to LibreMS or you just haven't really used dashboards to their full capability yet. Uh, again, thank you for watching.